God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I welcome you to day 10 of our fasting and prayer. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And as you join today, I believe the Lord will continually strengthen you in the place of fasting and in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus. Our prayer focus for day 10, we are praying for leaders and government globally. We are praying for leaders and government globally. And as we intercede uh, today, day 10, we believe that the power of God will reign, I say, with our leaders and nations all over the world in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number one, and as we begin to pray, we are going to thank God. So our first prayer point, we are going to say, Father, we thank you for our leaders because no one can lead except God ordain it in Jesus' name. According to his word in Romans 13 verse 1. So we are going to lift up our voice wherever you are. I want you to pray and thank God. Thank God for all the leaders of the world. Thank God because God has ordained them. Let's give God a praise. Let's celebrate the Father. Let's give Jehovah all the glory. Father, we thank you for our leaders. We thank you for, for government of the world. We thank you, Lord, for those that you have ordained. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We say, Lord, be highly exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray and lift up our voice and say, Father, please put your fear and your wisdom in the heart of our leaders. In Jesus' name, according to your word, in Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, Father, put your fear in their heart and your wisdom. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we commit all our leaders in your hand all over the world. We ask that, Father, let your fear, let it reign in their heart. Let your wisdom saturate their mind in the name of Jesus. Every leaders of the world, Father, we intercede and pray for them. That, Father, your wisdom, Father, your fear in their heart in the name of Jesus to rule in the name of Jesus. Father, empower them. Empower them with your wisdom. Empower them with your wisdom. Let your divine, your Shekinah glory, let it fill their heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. We're going to say, Father, uproot every plant that you have not planted in the government of our nation. In the name of Jesus, according to your word in Matthew 15, 13. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that, Father, what you have not planted, what you have not planted in the government of every nation, Father, let it be uprooted by your power in the name of Jesus. Father, let it be uprooted by your power in the name of Jesus. Father, all that you have not planted in any government of the world, Father, please uproot in this year, 2024. Let it be uprooted in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. We are going to lift up our voice and we are going to say, Father, remove the wicked ones from the government and leadership in our nation. In the name of Jesus, according to your word in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 12 to 13. Father, remove the wicked ones. Shall we lift up our voice and begin to intercede? Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the nations of the world and we say every wicked leader, every wicked one, anyone in authority that is assigning, that is doing wickedness, Father, please approach them. Lord, approach them, oh Lord. Remove them in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray any individual, oh Lord, that is an agent of wickedness, Father, please remove, oh Lord. Remove by your mercy. Remove by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number five. We are going to lift up our voice and say, Father, help our leaders to be people that are seeking for peace and prosperity in their land. According to your word in Jeremiah 29 verse 7. So, Father, we are going to pray and lift up our voice and say, Father, help our leaders to seek after peace and prosperity of their nation. Shall we begin to pray? Somebody pray and intercede for your nation. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the nations of the world. Let the leaders be the one that seek after peace. Let our leaders be the one that seek after prosperity in every nations of the world. Father, we ask that, Lord, let your peace reign. Let your prosperity reign in the heart of our leaders. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray every nations of the world, let us begin to enjoy your peace, the peace of the Lord through our leaders. Oh Lord, the prosperity of God, I say the abundance of the Father through the leaders in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number six. We are going to lift up our voice and we are going to say, Father, we pray that our leaders will be humble and seek the face of the Lord in Jesus' name. Shall we begin to pray? Somebody intercede for your nation that your leaders will be, will be humble and they will seek the face of the Lord. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We commit all the leaders of the world to your hand and we say, Father, that Lord, the spirit of humility, the spirit of humility that, Father, you release upon them in the name of Jesus. They will seek you, O Lord. They will seek you, Jehovah, in the name of the Father. Father, we pray that they will be humble in all their doings, in all their dealings. Oh Lord, we pray for our leaders that Father, you will surround them, Lord. Father, you empower them, Lord. Father, you will grace them, Lord, with the spirit of humility in them to serve in the people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number seven. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Father, let the people. Let the people they are leading walk in the fear of God. According to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Shall we begin to intercede? Let's pray for our nations. The Lord, as we as we are leading, as the followers of the leaders, let us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, walk in the fear of God. Let the fear of God, let it saturate our nations. O oh Lord, we pray that this day by your mercy, let the fear of the Lord, let it saturate every nation of the world in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let there be a flow of your spirit. Let there be a flow of your power in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number eight. We are going to lift up our voice and say, Father, we pray that our leaders are, will tremble before the Lord and serve him only in Jesus' name. According to your word in Psalm 2, verse 10 to 11, let us intercede for our leaders that only God they will serve. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up our leaders before you and we say, Father, in every nation of the world, that they will serve you, Lord. They will serve you, Father. They will serve you, Father. They will serve you, Father. Only you they will serve. Father, we pray that, Lord, from this hour, the power to serve you, the grace to serve you, release upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name for in jesus mighty name we pray amen prayer point number nine we are going to pray for our leaders we are going to say father we pray that our leaders will have good advisors in the name of jesus according to proverb 11 verse 14 somebody lift up your voice and intercede intercede for good advisors father we lift up our leaders before you and we say lord you will surround them with good advisor i say in every parastatus in every decision making that father they will be surrounded by good good advisor father in the name of jesus oh lord the lord you will bless them father with good advisors in the name of jesus thank you father bless Blessed be your name, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 10. Prayer point number 10. We are going to say, Father, please by your power, guide and control and direct the heart of our leaders to lead us well in Jesus' name. According to your word in Proverbs 21 verse 1. So let's pray. Somebody intercede. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we say by your power. By your power, O oh Lord, we pray for guidance. Father, we pray for control. We pray for to direct the heart of our leaders. In the name of Jesus. By your power, O oh Lord. By your power, O oh Lord. By your power, O oh Lord. Every leaders of the nations of the world. Father, direct their heart. By your power. By your power to do good, O oh Lord. Father, to do the good, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 11. We are going to pray for our leaders. We are going to say, Father, help our leaders not to commit abomination. I say in the name of Jesus, according to Proverbs 16 verse 12. 
help our leaders not to commit abomination. Shall we begin to intercede? Somebody pray for the leaders of your nation. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit our leaders to your hand. That, Father, they will not commit abomination. Oh, Lord, we pray for help. We pray for help. We pray for sanity in our leaders, oh, Lord. Father, we ask that, Lord, they will do that that pleases you. In the name of Jesus, King of glory, Lord of Lord, please help our leaders. Help our leaders, oh, Lord. Help our leaders, oh, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 12. We are going to pray for our leaders and we are going to pray for the government. We are going to say, Father, help our government to take decision that we take our nation to a positive new level in the name of Jesus. Somebody intercede, lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for help. Help our nations, O Lord. That every decision that they will take, it will take the nation to a new level. A new level in all things. A new level, O Lord. Father, we pray, help our nations, O Lord. Help our nations, O Lord. The nations of the world. Father, help our nations, O Lord. That they will take decision. That will move the nation into a new level. Into a new level of glory. A new level of breakthrough. A new level of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 13. We're going to pray for our leaders. We're going to say, Father, give our leaders wisdom, good knowledge and understanding. They need to lead their subject aright. In Jesus' name. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, somebody intercede for your nation. Pray for your leaders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for wisdom. Father, we pray for knowledge. We pray for understanding. That, Lord, you will impart them, O oh Lord, that they will, they needed. Every wisdom they needed. Every knowledge and understanding they needed. Father, to lead the nation in the right way, in the direct way, Father, release upon our leaders. We pray that, Father, you will impart every leader. You will impart every leader of the world. In the name of Jesus, we the right wisdom, the right knowledge, the right understanding. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 14. Prayer point number 14. We are going to pray and we are going to tell the Lord and say, Father, by your power, give our leaders divine creative idea, divine creative idea to create job, job opportunity for the masses in the name of jesus somebody praying father in the mighty name of jesus lord we ask lord that you will impart our leaders creative ideas creative ideas to create job opportunity in the name of jesus father we ask oh lord that every nations of the world we pray for the leadership the lord ideas creative ideas to create job opportunity the lord impart our leaders oh lord father impart our leaders lord fill our leaders with ideas in the name of jesus thank you you, Father, blessed be your name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the last prayer point for today, prayer point number 15. We are going to pray that, Father, let your wind of favor, let your wind of favor begin to blow into our family, our churches, and our nation. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God. Father, we pray that your wind of favor, your wind of favor, let it blow into my life. Let it blow into my family. Let it blow into my church. Let it blow into our nation. Oh Lord, Father, we pray your wind of favor, your wind of favor. This year, 2024. Father, let your wind of favor, let it blow, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We say, so shall it be. I say, so shall it be. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. And I pray for you as a listener of this prayer that this year 2024, before the year is over, the wind of favor it will blow into your life. I pray for you that before this year 2024 is over, the Lord will open for you the doors of breakthrough. In your life, the doors of breakthrough. You are listening, you are there. My sister, my brother, I hear for you that year 2024, the Lord says is opening door for you. Doors of breakthrough. Doors of breakthrough. Doors of breakthroughs. Doors of breakthrough. Unimaginable breakthrough that the 
the doors are opening for you and your family. The Lord said that the hardship is over. The hardship is over. Your hardship is over. That this morning is releasing upon you that today it terminates that spirit of hardship in your family. That year 2024 it shall be for you a year of harvest and testimony in the name of Jesus. That as you leave this prayer, the Lord said the hand, his hand is upon you. His hand is upon you. He remove the, he remove the seed, the seed of affliction in your life. That enough is enough. Your change has come. Your change has come. That as you fast and pray, that it is your turn to testify. It is your turn to be congratulated. It is a new dawn for you. In your life, a, the change has come. The Lord said the change has come. That you will see his hand move in your life. The change has come for you and your household. That you will laugh. You will laugh. You will celebrate. Before this month is over, the Lord said you will celebrate in the name of Jesus. That you should take act and not give up because your season of change has come. Thus says the Lord for you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 That word is for somebody listening. And hold on to it and you will see the change in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. See you tomorrow. God bless you.